This tutorial explains the database in BioIn and will show you how to add information to the database. The BioIn internal database can be used to log time series data generated during dynamic simulations. It may also contain imported data that can be plotted and compared to simulation results. You have complete control over the data logged to the database. This allows you to optimize the size of the project database so that you only record data you are interested in. There are several methods for adding data to the database. A popular way is to plot a time series chart in the bio and album. That is how data were added to the database in the MLE process example that comes with BioIn. I'll open the BioIn album, which contains a number of tables and charts. Several pages in the album contain dynamic plots, including Influent Flow slash COD and Dynamic Effluent. On the Influent Flow page, we see time series of Influent Flow, COD, and BOD. On the dynamic effluent page, we see effluent ammonia and effluent nitrate. To see what is being monitored to the project database, open the database inventory. The monitored items are the time series data that have been plotted in the album. I want to draw your attention to the effluent ammonia and effluent nitrate. If I delete one of the dynamic charts from the album, the items in that chart will be unmonitored and the data removed from the database. This helps to minimize the size of the project database, which in turn minimizes the size of the bio and file. To demonstrate, I'll delete page dynamic effluent. The inventory list now no longer contains effluent ammonia and effluent nitrate. If I decide later that I would like to plot these series again, I will need to make a new time series chart in the album and then run a dynamic simulation that BioWin can sample to plot our time series. Another way to add data to the database is to monitor the data independently of adding charts. This can be done in two ways. Number one, you can use the project database monitor items command to access all the elements on your flow sheet from one location. Or number two, and alternatively, you can use the Monitor Items tab of any element on your flow sheet to select the item to be recorded and the element stream that it will be recorded for. I will demonstrate this by right-clicking on the Effluent element, selecting Properties, which allows access to the Monitor Items tab. Select Ammonia and Nitrate from the State Variables list. Run a dynamic simulation from the project start date for two days from current values. If we open Project Database Inventory List, we'll see that effluent ammonia and effluent nitrate have been added to the database. And now if we plot these series in the album, they will immediately appear. If I delete this chart, the inventory list still contains effluent ammonia and effluent nitrate. These series are still in the database because they weren't added explicitly through creation of a chart. If you find that you are always monitoring the same items and the same types of elements from project to project, you may want to use BioWin's auto-logging feature. You can use this feature to tell BioWin to always monitor certain parameters and variables on an element type basis. To set up auto logging, select Tools, Customize, and the Automatic Logging tab. From the Elements list, you can select the element type that you wish to set up for auto logging. 
In the location group, you can specify from where you want to obtain element data. In most cases, the location will likely be the overflow. However, for elements that have multiple outputs like clarifiers, you can monitor items for both the overflow and the underflow independently. You can then select the items that you wish to log automatically to the database. For example, I could do this if I wanted to always monitor the MLSS concentration in a bioreactor. Select bioreactor and then under combined we'll select TSS. It's important to note that when you set up auto logging for an element type, the data that you specified to be monitored will automatically be written to the database for any elements added from that time forward. So in the current project and all future projects, elements already in the configuration are not affected by this setting. However, if we add a new bioreactor to the drawing board and look in the monitored items tab, we see that TSS is monitored in that new reactor. To keep your bio and file size manageable, we recommend only logging items of interest. You can always modify the auto logging options to suit your needs. This concludes the inventory database tutorial. Please see EnviroSim's video library for more information on BioWin's database, as well as other tutorials to help you become more productive with BioWin.